Coach, were you able to procure any of the spring game films? And if so, what did you see? Well, we saw them play in the spring. Is that what you mean? Because there's, yeah, yeah that's, Fordham and Lafayette. Yeah, yeah, that's, we, we watched the Fordham and Lafayette game. Uh, we watched our 2019 film. We went back um, for, for a bunch of games, and then we watched the two games in the spring. Um, yeah, so we watched that all, Rich. We saw it, and, you know, similar to what they did in 19, got a chance to see some of the players um, who are on the depth chart right now. And, you know, I saw from an offense, I think their quarterback had a ton of respect for him. He's really tough. Uh, runs the ball really well, can make the throws, gets on the move, can sit in the pocket. But the biggest thing that jumps out to me on tape is how tough he is. Um, and I respect that. Uh, they're wideouts. They play a bunch of guys. Um, I think number six, he's got really good speed, gets the ball in his hands. Their wider receivers, I think, block and are as physical and tough as any group that we've seen. Um, so, again, they're well coached. They're O-line. I think all of them are seniors except um, I think they have one – sophomore who they have now on their depth chart, but they're big. They have a ton of experience, which you can never take that away uh, from a unit. It's kind of like us, right? I mean, those guys have been playing together for a long time right now and they got some big tight ends. I know 44, they line them up in the backfield. They, they spread them out, him in 83. So, you know, that that's them on offense. On defense, they're big up front. They're wide. Um, you know, they two gap a bunch. Number zero is a guy from, you know, I watch more offense because obviously I spend time with our defense, but I did watch a bunch of their off, um, their defense. Uh, number zero, their middle linebacker to me, um, in my opinion, he, he's one of their most physical players. He shows up all over the tape. I think number three, he's a DB that caught my eye. Again, this is just me going off of what I've seen on tape. Um, good athlete, good coverage skills, um, you know, and, and they play some single high, they play some zone, they, they slant the angle, they bring pressure. Um, so that's just Rich kind of summing up some of the guys, but they're well coached in all three phases, man. And uh, one more for me. Uh, just talk about the two outside linebackers. They both have an oar. Is it that close? Are they still uh, still batting for the position. Who are you talking about, Rich? Which guys? The two outside: uh, Arnold and uh, Danucci and uh, De Palma and Steele. Yeah, and you're gonna you're gonna see all of them, Rich. Um, all those guys are gonna play, um, and that and that's truthfully that's why I put the oar. Um, because they're all going to play on Saturday. Different packages we have. You might see four linebackers on the field at the same time. You might see three. You might see two. But I, I'm, I'm sticking to if a, guy, if a guy deserves to play this year, we're going to find a role. And being that we've had more time, uh, we have more more defense in, so we'll get guys on the field. Sorry, wonder a time crunch. We're going to do our last two questions, first with Emma and then Dan. Um, Coach, so you – uh, on the depth chart that you released, there are a lot of questions, it looks like, in the secondary, particularly at safety. Um, what's going to be the the decision maker, the, ter- the determining factor there for who gets the nod? Um, here's how I look at it, Emma, and I'll just be very honest with you like I have with the players. At free safety, I look at Jason Maytre and Mike Palmer. They're both starters, and they're both going to play, and that's how it's going to be at free safety. And we'll figure out who goes out um, with the ones. It's not like the NFL where a guy's got to run out of the tunnel. We're going to come out together. And then the guy who's in on the first series might not be in the second series. It's strong safety and safety. It's Muse and it's would be, and it's the same thing. They're both going to play. And I'm not saying that to be evasive or try to hide who's going to go out with the ones. Um, we're going to talk about that with the players and I'd rather share that with them before we make the decision. I want all four of those guys practicing really hard because they're all going to get on the field and play that I'm very confident with and I'm confident with them. Um, so that's I, Emma. That's honestly as straight up as I can be with you. I'll wrap things up, Dan. Coach, um, FCS offenses, I know, run might run a little bit differently than what you might see at the FBS level. Um, is there anything that's kind of jumped out that might be a little bit different that you might see out of Colgate that you don't know that you might see out of any other team this year? No, not with them, Dan. And I do get what you're saying. Um, you know, being in the ACC and, and playing, we kind of saw it all last year. So it's a it's a good variety of quarterback run game, um, drop back pass, you know, quarterback movement. Um, some RPO stuff, um, you know, they have it all. They have Wildcat. It's, they go on balance, they do, and that's really what college football is. Um, so, no, pr- pretty similar, but they do, they do a lot of different things, and they do it well. They're very, um, they're very detailed, and they make you play. You better be on it, um, or else you're going to see a guy pop out of nowhere. And like I said, I have a ton of respect for their staff um, and their players, and we are 100% not taking this team for granted or lightly. Um, we need to we need to prepare this week as if we're preparing against the best team that we play in the ACC. That's how we're going to do it all year, and it doesn't matter who the opponent is, and we're going to respect them. Jeff, we appreciate it.
Yeah, thanks, guys. And I'm sorry, again, I got to get on the ACC call. It's only once a month. Uh, so sorry, I can't answer more of your questions, but I'll see you later in the week. And I do appreciate you guys all coming on.